I'm Dr. Jean Antonucci. I started my career in dentistry in the Air Force, where I helped our military personnel get healthy and stay healthy. From there, I built a successful practice in Huntington, New York, and later as a teacher, lecturer, and author, I shared my knowledge and experience with students and fellow healthcare professionals. And now my journey's taken me here to explore the world of health, wellness, diet, fitness, and nutrition, as together we discover and find the good life. Welcome to Finding the Good Life. I'm Dr. Gene. Right now, it's the height of the coronavirus crisis in America, and most of us have found ourselves in a most surreal situation, physically away from so many people that form the fabric of our lives. Many aren't working. Many are at home with their families for hours on end that were never spent before. Stores are closed except for food. Schools are shut down. Those with dogs have animals wondering why in the world they're being walked so much of all of a sudden. Some people are completely alone right now. If you've never stood in the batter's box against a really good pitcher who threw you a curveball, then it's hard to understand the analogy of dealing with a curveball. So let me try to explain. In baseball, you work hard to hit the balls coming at you that are fast and predictable. They're straight down the zone, and you train to hit them and you excel. But a curveball, it takes you off guard. It veers off at an ungodly angle, and since there's no way to really expect it, you don't handle it. In baseball, it's a strikeout or an out. But in life, we're dealing with a major curveball right now. I don't care what books on self-improvement or business growth you've read, what we're dealing with today was not in the manual. It's like a giant reset button has been activated. We're at home with ourselves, with family, and without our comfortable distractions. Hours of time are now unlocked that were previously out of reach. They're hours for us to rekindle relationships, to rediscover the spiritual part of ourselves, to learn new things and to plan new directions. Our first guest today are Father Rob Courtney and Reverend Liz Embler Beasley. I'm so happy to have both of you here on the show today with us to share your thoughts during this very difficult time. Can you both please uh, let us let the viewers know who you are? Well, sure. I'm uh, Father Rob Courtney, and I, as Dr. Gene said, am the pastor and priest at St. Paul's Episcopal Church and School in the Lakeview neighborhood in New Orleans, and I've been a priest now for 11 years, uh, which is kind of unbelievable to me, and I've spent most of my career both before I was a priest and as a priest in the state of Louisiana. And I am Mother Liz Embler Beasley. I'm also a pastor and priest at St. Paul's. I'm the Associate for Congregational Development at St. Paul's in Lakeview, New Orleans. And I've been a priest for about two and a half years, almost three years, coming up very soon. And I've spent all of my priesthood at St. Paul's so far. And you're both right now in New Orleans, right? Correct. Yes. It's, a, it's experiencing a major challenge, something I bet has never been seen before. I don't even know how this would, would relate to Katrina 10 years ago. Tell me what's going on right now. It is similar to Katrina in some ways, in the separation from one another, um, and, uh, and the, I guess, nature of, of it being unsure of, of when we're all gonna get back to normal a little bit. That was very much something that was, I remember being part of Katrina is, when can life get back to normal? And uh, we feel that same kind of urgency now, I think. And we've actually heard that feedback from a lot of people that we've checked in with, that they are struggling with the uncertainty, with the lack of connection, and they are um, relating this back to their experience of Hurricane Katrina. From your perspective, what can people be doing right now in this current situation to reconnect with their spiritual side and with God in their lives? So one thing that we're encouraging our parishioners to do is one, to make sure that they are reaching out to one another as spiritual support, um, and also to find space within their homes that they can set aside to be sacred space. So creating a small altar in your home where you have a cross, where you have um, flowers or an icon, where you can center yourself and take time for yourself and for God. I'm sure that this for you also, both of you also, this has been a time to reflect and to maybe reset. So can you tell me how, something about how this has affected either of you personally? 
Well, I am in a unique place where I am expecting my first baby, which is very exciting, but in this environment can also be um, very nerve wracking. And so I am having to do is set some strong boundaries around my um, news consumption and making sure that I reach out to people who um, have been through this before and have, well, have been at least been through childbirth before and and pregnancy. (laughs) To rely on people that are wiser than I am in these moments. Um, And also to to rely on the people that I know love me and will support me through this. You know, I have a wonderful husband who is uh, very supportive and encouraging, and it's it's those moments of going to him and saying, I don't know what to do about this, and both of us together through prayer and through um, careful contemplation and reflection that we're able to get to a place where we say, we don't know what's going to happen next, but we're going to figure it out together. And I'm on the kind of other end of that in that I've got three children, one of whom is in college and I've had to go and and move her out of her dorm room already. I've got a junior in high school and a 10 year old son. And so they're all here at home. They're all in separate rooms on separate computers, doing their own online learning programs. Uh, My wife is a physical therapist and owns her own business. And so she is also trying to figure out this telemedicine thing. And so I think one of the ways it's affected me that I've noticed is most of what I do has to do with relationship and and being with people. And I miss that. Well, thank you both so much for spending time with us today. Appreciate it. And um, it's great information and great, uh, great words to share. And I'm sure everyone's going to get a lot out of it. Thank you. Thank you for having us. God bless and be well, Jeannie. Thank you. We'll see you soon, hopefully. (laughs) We'll be back after this short break with more on pressing the reset button. With all of the legitimate concern around health and the need to boost our immune systems, here with some great ideas on using Limonero lemons to supercharge immunity is registered dietitian Megan Roosevelt. Now more than ever, it is a time to stay home, stay safe, and support immune health. And citrus fruits are a great way to strengthen the immune system. Hey everyone, my name is Megan Roosevelt and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist, the founder of Healthy Grocery Girl, and spokesperson for Limonera's Take a Healthy Stand campaign. Citrus fruits contain the antioxidant vitamin C, which plays a crucial role in helping support the immune system. A vitamin C deficiency can increase the risk of infections. In fact, adding vitamin C to the diet both protects and helps the body heal and repair. Vitamin C also supports collagen production, and proper collagen production is important for gut health. This is important because 70% of the immune system resides in the gut. In addition, vitamin C helps iron absorption. About 70% of your body's iron is found in red blood cells called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin plays an important role in transferring oxygen in your blood from the lungs to the tissues. As a registered dietitian, I always recommend meeting your nutritional needs through real whole foods first, with supplementation as an aid to fill in the gaps. Although our bodies only need small amounts of vitamins and minerals, they're vital for our health. However, a Western diet high in processed foods and low in whole foods like fresh produce can result in a vitamin and mineral deficiency. Nutritional deficiencies can increase our risk of certain diseases. Limonera lemons and citrus fruits are incredibly versatile and a great way to support your immune health and health overall. From adding fresh lemon juice to water, using whole lemons, including the peel and zest in recipes, to using lemons for natural beauty and cleaning solutions. We have dozens of free recipe, beauty, and lifestyle videos on the Limonera YouTube channel sharing how to enjoy more lemons and citrus every day. Lemon juice in its natural state is acidic. However, once metabolized, it becomes alkaline. 
Why does this matter? Believers in holistic health contribute many body ailments to the body's pH being too low or too acidic. Increasing your body's pH is called alkalizing. Drinking lemon juice, usually diluted in a glass of water or added to a cup of tea, is a simple, healthy way to support a more alkaline, anti-inflammatory environment within your body. Potential additional benefits include lowering cholesterol, lower inflammation within the body, and increased metabolism and energy. Instead of cleaning with harmful chemicals, you can use equal parts lemon juice and water to clean most household items. Be cautious not to clean natural stone or anything brass plated with citrus. Here is a simple homemade disinfectant recipe which was inspired by our DIY citrus all-purpose cleaner. However, we are using rubbing alcohol in place of vinegar so that this solution disinfects and kills bacteria and viruses. You will need orange peels from Limonair Oranges rubbing alcohol with at least 70% alcohol, castile soap, and essential oils. I'm using frankincense. Find a small glass jar with a tight fitting lid and add the orange peels. Fill to the top with rubbing alcohol. Add lid and let sit for two weeks. Strain the orange infused alcohol and add two thirds cup to a spray bottle with one thirds cup filtered water. Next, add a fourth of a teaspoon of unscented castile soap and four to five drops of essential oil. Add on a lid and shake together. Use on floors, doorknobs, the bathroom, or in the kitchen. If you're keen on natural solutions to boost immunity, look no further than Limonera lemons. Lemons contain vitamin C, zinc, and key antioxidants. Lemons also play a vital role in helping the immune system adapt to new threats and conditions. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Limonera YouTube channel, follow Limonera on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and look for sustainably grown Limonera citrus next time you head to the grocery store. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is important news for people who have taken Zantac or its generic ranitidine and then suffered from cancer. Zantac and generic ranitidine have been linked to cancers such as bladder cancer and kidney cancer. According to the FDA, Zantac and ranitidine contain NDMA, a known cancer-causing agent. NDMA has been linked to cancers of the bladder, kidney, colon, esophagus, liver, ovaries, pancreas, and other cancers. If you or a loved one took Zantac or ranitidine and were then diagnosed with cancer, call the lawyers at Davis and Crump right now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call the lawyers at Davis and Crump right now if you or a loved one took Zantac or generic ranitidine and were then diagnosed with bladder cancer, kidney cancer, or any of these cancers. Call now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Our first consultation is free and we don't get paid unless you get paid. Call Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, this may be the most important phone call you'll ever make. I owed $87,000 in taxes. But listen. Your tax problem is settled. You only owe $3,500. What a great message. I owed $11,000 on my taxes. But now... Congratulations. You only owe $2,068. How's that sound? If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, then you owe it to yourself to call this number or go to tax10,000.com. Even if you are already at the point where you're struggling with levies and garnishments, let our experts help guide you through the process of negotiating a tax settlement. We owe the IRS $48,000. But check out what we actually paid. Are you sitting down? You only owe $3,571. Call 800-219-6309 or go to tax10,000.com. That's 800-219-6309. Let's get ready for home appliance repairs. George, 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 we have Choice Home Warranty. Oh, yeah, with Choice Home Warranty, we don't have to fight expensive repair bills. 
Hi, George Foreman here, and if you're a homeowner, stop getting sucker punched by the high cost of home repairs. When your AC goes out, or when your washing machine takes a dive, or when your electricity shorts out, Choice Home Warranty can protect over 25 of your home's major systems and appliances. For about a dollar a day. And if their army of expert technicians can't fix it, they'll replace it. For about a dollar a day, get Choice Home Warranty. Call now and get your first month free. Only Choice Home Warranty has the heavyweight protection plan that assures that you'll never pay for a covered home system breakdown again. You could save thousands. You never have to worry about getting ripped off or scramble for trusted repairmen. Choice Home Warranty has a proven record a million times over. So having a Choice Home Warranty is very much like having a security blanket on all the appliances in our home. With Choice Home Warranty, I save thousands of dollars and zero headaches. I can make one painless phone call, and they're not going to take advantage of me. So when your heater, oven, or fridge throw in the towel, don't throw away thousands on repairs. Call Choice Home Warranty, and for about a dollar a day, never pay for covered home repairs again. Call right now for your free quote and we'll include your first month free. Call in the next 10 minutes and as a special gift from George, get free limited roof repair coverage. Never pay for covered home repair bills again. Remember, if we can't fix it, we'll replace it. Call now to get a free quote and your first month free. Call in the next 10 minutes and get free limited roof repair coverage. Call 800-983-4195. 800-983-4195. 800-983-4195. 800-983-4195. Welcome back to Finding the Good Life. We've all been concerned about our healthcare workforce and their incredible burden today. And we're going to speak to someone who's created a program to help relieve some of the stress on our healthcare system. Dr. Arash Hakamian, celebrity dentist and CEO of Dentilu, is here to tell us all about it. Hello, Dr. Arash. Hi, thanks, uh, Dr. J. Thanks for having me on, and hello to everyone in the audience. Thanks so much for being here. It's great having you, and this is really timely. So tell me, you're a third generation dentist. How did you get into this technology and into telemedicine? surgeries around the world in underserved communities and there was no way to follow up with any of our patients and uh, we decided to implement the technologies uh, such as telemedicine and telehealth to be able to follow up with our patients and be able to connect patients from around the world to dentists and doctors wherever they may be. So you founded Dentulu, how does that work? So Dentulu is a mobile application available on, uh, on an iPhone, Android and directly on the web. And dentists can now uh, connect with patients and patients can connect with licensed dentists uh, within five to 10 minutes uh, when there's an emergency or when they wanna get a consultation without ever having to actually leave their home. Most people really don't understand that there isn't a thing as a, an emer in most places, you, you have it, but in most places there isn't an emergency dentist. So when people have a toothache on a Sunday morning, they clog up the emergency room and I guess today, with the coronavirus, that's a major issue. Absolutely. We don't want patients going to emergency rooms right now. Right now, In fact, the American Dental Association has recommended for all dental offices to provide only emergency services. And uh, when many offices are closed, uh, people end up going to the emergency room where they can be cross-contaminated and cross-infected and further deplete emergency rooms of their uh, of their resources. So instead of doing that, we can just... Tell me how, then how, how would Dentulu work, work, work today? So any patient can download the Dentulu app on their uh, uh, mobile phone or go on our website and immediately create a profile, find a dentist that's close to them, and start having a conversation through virtual dentistry. And if it's appropriate, the dentist can actually call in a prescription for that patient and provide them with the care they need, and then offboard them to their local dental office to be seen uh, in a timely manner. So what we're really able to do is we, we can actually keep patients from leaving their homes right now and putting themselves at risk. We can diagnose through your app on, on a phone, correct? Absolutely. Uh, depending on the respective state, uh, the, the patients can speak to a dentist. A dentist can see exactly what their urgent need is, if it's antibiotics, pain medications, uh, and call that into a local prescription. 
We also have these wonderful cameras that we created that allow the dentist to actually see inside the patient's mouth. So patients can purchase these on Amazon or directly on our website. And now a dentist can actually visually see inside the patient's wow. mouth from wow. thousands of miles away which is amazing, uh, a, a product that we want to bring to the market and allow everyone to utilize, especially during these uh, coronavirus. So are, is uh, there special training needed for either the doctor or the, or the patient who wants to use this system? Not at all. Uh, patients are already used to utilizing video conferencing and chatting. Uh, this doesn't even need to require video conferencing. Patients can just chat using basic text messages. And the providers uh, can utilize the same services. So we've tried to create a very easy to use and user-friendly uh, platform uh, so that patients can basically download, connect, and immediately begin consulting with a licensed dentist close to them. So I really <laughs> want people to hear about this and, and to learn as much as they can. So where can we learn more? What's your website, your social media? We encourage everyone to just go on their Apple Store or Android App Store and download Dentulu. It's D-E-N-T-U-L-U. -E or they can visit us directly on our website at www.dentulu.com where they can uh, basically access our services directly on the web. And should they have any other questions, please uh, just send us a message and we have our friendly operators and staff ready to help 24-7. Uh, and we hope that we can provide a much needed service to flatten the curve uh, and help dentists and dental patients connect uh, for free, uh, especially during this uh, coronavirus uh, and, and beyond. Well, thank you so much for being here with us and explaining Dentulu to us. Um, it's a great service and uh, I actually just started using it myself. So I'm looking forward to working with it and I hope so many people learn about it and hear this. Thanks so much. Thank you guys and, uh, and be safe and have a wonderful day. Thanks doc. We'll be back with more of Finding the Good Life. Pushing the reset button. That's exactly what we need to think about doing today. This crisis has changed our lives dramatically and there are so many ramifications that lie ahead for us in the future. People are genuinely afraid, and I think it's because there's so much that we don't have control over right now. We can't see the virus. We don't even know who may be carrying it. We have to stay in place and protect ourselves and our families. We're spending time alone or with family members where we never spent time like this before. But what we can do right now is so much more powerful. We're presented with a unique opportunity to take control and own the things that are uniquely ours, our relationships, our nutrition, our exercise, and our well-being. We've been so consumed with our daily lives, children, school, work, deadlines, sports. We rush through it all and we've taken it all for granted. And we realize that now. But this amazing opportunity is here to reflect, reassess, reprioritize, and to do. Push that button. Push that reset button hard and join me next time in finding the good life.